5.23. First Thessalonians 5.23. I will read it to you, ha? Huh? May God Himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So what this 1 Thessalonians 5.23 is saying, there are three interrelated parts of man. The spirit, the soul, and the body, and the flesh. Okay? okay. The spirit, uh, before we receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior, okay, our spirit was dead. Okay, and who was in the center of the throne? Ourselves. Wala pa tayo. Hindi pa natin tinanggap si Jesus. And we were doomed to go to hell or eternal death. Experience eternal death. But when we accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior, our spirit became alive. Okay? And now who sits at the throne of our lives? Jesus, Jesus. Christ already. Diba? And we are assured of eternal life or our salvation. This spirit... The enemy, when I say enemy, si Satan and his demons, cannot take this spirit away from us. Because it's intact. Okay. But because of our human nature, we still have the second part, which is the soul and the flesh. The soul is our character, how people know you, your personality. In our soul, there are three areas. We have the mind, the will, And third, emotions. Dyslexic. Oh, dyslexic. <laughs> Sanay na ako kasi pag nag 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 nagtuturo ako ng ano. So, uh, okay. The mind, the will, and emotions in our soul. Sorry, you understand my handwriting? Yes. Okay. First, I will discuss how the enemy will... will um, attack us in our mind. The enemy cannot read your mind. Huh? Only Jesus can read our mind. But he can inject lies. He's the father of lies. He can inject negative thoughts. You're not good enough. Um, nobody really loves you. Why did your husband leave you? Because you're not a good wife, etc., etc. Those thoughts, they do not come from God. They come from the enemy. But sometimes we tend to listen to these lies all the time until we entertain these lies and then eventually we accept these lies into our lives then we start um, declaring negative mental agreements yes maybe i'm not really a good wife that's why my husband looked for somebody else maybe i'm really not good enough so i cannot succeed i cannot do any projects i cannot um, have a higher no, a position a that's a good that's yes. a good thought but you know sometimes because of of what is happening in your in your life you you feel down you feel helpless you feel hopeless and the joy is no longer there diba? if we allow satan to take control to take over our thoughts talo tayo, diba? Panalo si satan, diba? we always have to renew our minds with thoughts coming from the lord diba what does it say in philippians what thoughts should we entertain diba whatever is um, true whatever yeah. is noble yeah. right yeah. pure lovely uh -huh. admirable etc. exactly exactly switch right away to those things and always read the word of god because the word of god is his truth if you keep listening to the lies of the enemy you will be brought down by his lies okay secondly the will what's the will these are sinful patterns of behavior that we keep repeating that's in Romans 7 uh, I know that um, it is not good but I find myself doing it all the time you've come across that whatever I'm not supposed to do I do yes. whatever I should do I'm not doing yes it's the battle oh of the flesh Romans 7. and the spirit Romans 7 starting from 15 to 21 Romans 7. Romans 7. Teka, teka, teka. I'm trying to 